And good evening, my quantum time traveling Mandela effect truth seekers. It's always a pleasure to be out here speaking to all of you, talking about a taboo phenomenon subject. Many people who know Ma Mr. Mandela had died in 2013 aren't having that scenario as their Mandela effect. I find the Bernstein, Bernstein, Bears anomaly runs deep and resonates through many people. Like, it, it was clearly with an E-I. Steen. But that's neither here nor there. I'm just doing this quick clip video to show you guys a new program that just started last Monday. It is called Travelers. It is also on Showcase. It's going to be a wild crazy ride of a show that's for sure I'm quite intrigued already just with the first episode so I'm doing a hypoth hypothetical video to put it out there to allow everybody to ponder and decide on their own using our best discernment well basically what it is there's a thousands of consciousnesses that are being transferred back through time from some point in time in the future they have technology to actually transfer the, the, the consciousness and not only transfer it they can time travel the consciousness itself it's almost like souls reincarnating into a body in that aspect anyway so thousands of these consciousnesses have already been transferred to earth and their whole point is to be able to change their past history which is our present day to be able to change their present day which is our future because in whatever unknown time they come from a disaster takes place and wipes out all of humanity so they were sent back in time to our present day to, to the, their present day on the show to tinker with certain events that will fall in line with changing their future timeline so technically theory or hypothetically for them coming into the past willingly knowingly to change their timeline to save humanity is what we are witnessing and experiencing every day in real life we are witnessing previous memories of either our previous lives and now we're starting to evolve high enough and vibrate high enough that we can remember our previous live memories just like back in Atlantean times we could do that no problem every time we reincarnated we remembered our past live memories and then it wouldn't take as long to ascend but now because our pineal gland aka third eye has been calcified and shrunken so much we don't have that capability but all us awakened people either were transferred here from a disaster in 2012 and now we're in this current reality done on a quantum level or the government went time traveling into the past tinkered with history and certain outcomes ch changed just like these time traveling consciousness 
are doing. They're, they're coming back into the past from their present day to change our present day to be able to save humanity in their timeline, whatever it may be. I know it's a lot of babbling back and forth, but time travel is confusing, but very intriguing. So I'm going to play the quick clip. You guys are going to see a brief part of the show that's very important to my hypothetical theory that they are predicting a Mandela reality. I will be doing par probably parts one, two, three, however many episodes they show that they are tinkering with certain outcomes in our present day to save humanity, save the world. This is their destiny to save their world and their timeline. It's still us, it's still humanity. So you'd want to help. It's insane though. They take over your body when you die. So they save you. As soon as you're ready to die, they inhabit your body and save you. And now you become one of their numbers to help save their world. All right, let's get this clip going. And subscribe, share, like, tell me what you all think. You know, there's a lot of great YouTube videos out there about the Mandela Effect. We all need to get together and figure this out. You know, whether it's scientists that we got to get there, like true scientists. we got to figure this out. The government can't hold this in the dark for too much longer. Too many indoubtable changes going on. All right. arrives moments before that historical time of death, overriding the original host's mind, then resumes his or her life by using their knowledge of historical records and social media. Okay, that's enough bullshit for now. 30 seconds. But, who the hell is that? That's the body of Jonas Walker. We stopped him from going on a shooting rampage, just as you tried and failed to do between 14 and 11 17. 20 seconds. We know the events of tonight because for us they've already happened. Just as we know that during a blackout on this night on 11 17, in pursuit of Jonas Walker, Special Agent Grant McClellan fell 45 meters down an open elevator shaft to his death. Three seconds. Moment of transformation. From future to past. Wow. 
That's insane. It's gonna be a great show. I know, more cabal predictive programming. But it's great entertainment, and what can you do? <laughs> you know? You gotta have something to laugh at and whatnot. But, anyways, I'm predicting a hypothetical Mandela reality. We gotta stop calling it Mandela effect because. Many people remember him dying in 2013, so it's not a true definition for the effect for people who don't experience the Mandela effect. They experience the Berenstein Bears effect because it resonates with not just thousands, millions of people and all the other logos and continent shift continent shifts and whatnot so but yeah this is definitely gonna be one heck of a season where are they gonna go from here what are they gonna tinker with in our past to be able to save the world where they come from and it's not full body time traveler try time travelers it's a consciousness being tra transferred transferred through time. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's going to be very interesting, to, to say the least. All right, I love you all. Keep truth-seeking. Use your best discernment. Do something good for everybody every day. That way they all will feel love and feel the joy. To be returned with positive karma for us because Lord knows we all need positive karma right now to get through this all right love you all have a great night